I just saved your life, mate. That's... He said he would kill me. I thought it was bluster. He is my brother. Despite what you told me, I thought it meant something. You're safe for now. But perhaps a trip away from Nassau would do you some good. You're looking better than last we met. As I sobered up, I began to see it more clearly. Jing has led my brother astray and must be killed. Vance has also betrayed me. As an assassin, his treachery must be punished by death. So either way, one of them has the Templar key. You're obviously distraught. Let me take care of it. I will tell you where to find them. What the hell's happened here? Were you attacked? Other way round. It were Blackbeard who struck first. Open fire on a British man of war, the pillock. What in God's name for? Still searching for medicines. But he's gone bar me, if you ask me. I'll bring him home. Leave him, man. He's heaped this trouble on himself. Oh, God. Oh, God, save me. And flay all you devils! Ah! Blackbeard made you as good an offer as ever a man got from any pirate. You might curse his methods, but medicine was all he wanted. And now he'll get it. You should have bartered, mate. What tide brings you? you dress the part of an assassin, yet I don't know your face. Name's Kenway. I'm here to warn you of a threat to your bureau. So I have noticed some suspicious men lurking about. I believe they work for a noted Templar called uh, Upton. Could you eliminate him for me? Oh, I may be persuaded. For a price. You wouldn't happen to know anything about a Templar key, would you? I'm sure you may find it among Upton's men. If I'll tell you where they are. <laughs> You've got yourself in Stop! I am Upton Travers, Bureau Leader. What? Is Vance your... My blood brother. We work together. And those were not Templars that you killed. They were my workers. Don't blame me. Your brother ordered it. Does he mean to use a... Me? I don't know, mate. I'm only after a Templar key. A what? Please. I need for you to tell me everything. And why should I trust you? Meet me at the Bureau, and I will show you. Oh, bother. And what's happened to you? I cannot go on anymore. My brother? A traitor? That woman? A Templar? I have no family. No wife of my own. What is the point of living? Hmm? Let them kill me. You don't know what you're saying, mate. Let's get you someplace safe. What's the point? The point is, I want my key. So I need you alive. I need your information, so I need you sober. You... You... are my best friend. Come here. Kill you! <laughs> Traitor! It takes one to know one. Ah. Why are you... you traitor? I will not meet the same fate! Imagine the Queen of Pirates, Jing Lang. Defeated for a fake man. I have been arrogant. Really? Yes. I stole the real one. Both halves. My husband has it. Your husband? Better man than these fools. Devil in his old thatch. 
This is a darling galley. 32 guns, is it? I lost count of 40. You've stepped up a rung. So, any luck finding medicines here? Nothing round this spot, sadly. But there's a few wrecks yonder that have been scoured by nothing but crabs and coral. I'll have a look. Edward? Edward, is that you? My goodness, the West Indies is a compact place. Hello, Bonnet. A surprise seeing you out here? I met Mr. Thatcher a month or so ago, and he offered to take me under his yard arms, so to speak. He says I must wash the hayseed from my hair before I'm a true pirate. Well, good luck to you then. Worst men have become better under Blackbeard's watch. I found one crate hidden beneath a school of sharks. Sadly, the elixir inside is quite spoilt. Plague and <sighs> perish. Will we steal medicines now? Remember the pardon, Thatch. We're to be subtle. Says Ornigold, a pirate, now too proud to call himself one. He prefers caution to cannons. Caution's nothing without charisma. If a man plays the fool, then it's only fools he'll persuade, but appear to be the devil, and all men will submit. And would you be the devil? Fine. Of course it does. You can find a quiet way to acquire medicines. Tell me soon. Otherwise, I'll handle it myself. Them there were in Boston. The king's called for a pardon. <laughs> Captain, we've searched the hold. It's a middle intake. But the medicine we found bears a Charles Town stamp. Thank you, Mr. Hans. We cannot resupply Nassau out here by force and accident alone. We should go to Charlestown for the lot. Hello! Uh, are we victorious? I fear I am not built for the fatigue and care required to live as a man of fortune. Meet me in Charlestown. One month from today. Hey, old bonnet! Flying your own flag at last! Yes! Yes, Blackbeard cut me loose, sadly. Time to have a go at this myself. Well, that's grand. Yet it's for the best, I think. I should have some wild stories when next we meet. Edward! Your constant friendship has been my most treasured find on these seas. 
Well above gold and silver and rum, I, I prize the courage you have inspired in me this year. Thank you, sir. A fair good borrow to you. Are you not loved? No. Are you not wanted by your wives, families, and countrymen? How else to explain your government's complete disinterest in your well-being? Hostages for merchants! These were my only terms! Decision I'll make hardly, but not with remorse. Ahoy, Edward. What the hell are you doing, man? All of Charleston can see this mess. It's the idea. Out of range, but well in sight. So where's the medicine? We sent a party ashore to partner with the governor. That were a week ago. No noise, he says. I'll handle it. Give me a day. There's movement up ahead. Is it soldiers? I am in something of a hurry. I propose we follow, else they spring something we ain't ready for. Captain! What's the take? Two crates. And the means for mixing additional doses. Ah, uh, straight thinking. Precious little of that these days. You hear that, Mr. Rags? My young friend returns with offerings and so saves your scrawny neck. Will you not thank him? You should quit these waters, Thatch. The governor, he's bound to muster more soldiers. Now you go on ahead. I... I got some business in the north. You're done, aren't you? Giving up on us. On NASA. Look, lad. I'm late into my fourth decade on this earth. And if I don't find some means to make the fifth quiet, and cozy voyage. I'd rather sink to the devil's doorstep than call myself captain another year. Now we'll meet again, lad. In this world. Or the one below. <laughs> <laughs> 